I'm uh, Justin Turnow, and I am a resident of Durham currently. Um, I am a three quarters faculty at UNC Greensboro in the dance department, um, adjunct faculty at Elon, and I have my own dance company called Company. Um, I'm also an arts organizer, so I work with um, the Durham Independent Dance Artists, which is DIDA. Um, and that uh, symbols all of the independent uh, modern dance choreographers in the area under one season in order to get some more um, press coverage and audience attention. So we're sort of building the relationships between audiences and um, the artists. And then I'm also currently serving on the North Carolina Dance Alliance Board. Um, and so juggling all of those things is definitely juggling. Um, but certain periods of the year are more busy than others. So I find that um, well, I don't find that I'm seeking balance. <laughs> I got my BA in choreography, which is kind of a made-up degree at that time. Sue Stenson really helped me make that. Thank, thank you, Sue. Um, and that was from 1997 to 2001, so I was here for like four and a half years. And then um, I came back in 2007 and got my MFA in choreography. And I moved back to Charlotte, and while there were things going on in Charlotte, they weren't necessarily things that um, I wanted to be involved with or didn't have access to. Like some of the companies were um, more established or were styles that I wasn't trained in, and so I just started something. I started this um, dance collective. We even got our 501c3 status called Project Insight, and it sort of bound together with all of the young artists who had moved to the area at that time and all of these different uh, disciplines, so there were, um, there was this sort of strength in numbers, you know, and we were all collaborating a lot, which was really fun, and I think probably, you know, shows up now in how interested I am in collaborating with other people, um, and other artists across disciplines, um, and so that was interesting, and I'm glad I spent some time outside of that, that was also the first time, um, I got involved with the dance festival, so I went on tour in 2006, um, and that was exciting. I got to take um, a group of, of dancers, and um, I think there were four or five, and go on a tour, which felt really big and like a huge deal, you know. Uh, it's neat, but it's um, definitely sporadic. It's sort of nice to, um, to have the lead up with the premiere of the first city, um, and then you you sort of gather all together and then you all disperse back to your communities, which is, I think, a very cool thing about it. You know, you get to spend a day or two um, in a city that maybe you don't go to a whole lot, um, which was cool. Um, and I really appreciated it doing that with um, that group of dancers that were working with me at the time. But the context was always changing. And I found that extremely impactful um, when it came to continuing to be a choreographer and realizing that every theater is different uh, and so you have to be really adaptable as a performer and, and also as a choreographer and be ready to see your work on a really big stage or, or a really small stage or um, yeah what the the capacities of the theaters were as far as like lighting and all that stuff too how many audience members could be in there what their configuration was so I think it um, really helped set me up at a, at a young age to be really adaptable work, go uh, make work, show work, reach out to your communities for help. Um, this is something that I'm finding a lot working with the Dance Alliance and with, with Dida in Durham is that people want to help, but you sort of just have to get out there, um, meet your fellow artists and, and also artists in other um, areas, lighting designers, technicians. Um, I think the thing, the best thing you can do for yourself is not to hole up. Um, but to just get out there as much as you can, yeah.